This is the pricing of Apollo. I have switched to monthly. And as you can see, if we want to scrape out 10,000 leads, we have to pay $99. So it doesn't make any sense charges three dollars per thousand leads so let's say if you are finding out ten thousand leads or if you want to scrape out ten thousand prospects you can do that within just thirty dollars as a duty of lead gen man or lead gen manthan it's my responsibility to show you how you can scrape out their phone number their email addresses their linkedin url basically from free from apollo so in order to get started we will first of all need to log in or sign up with apollo then filter out our opinion filter out our keywords filter out by their industry type by the job roles any filterization that you want we will do that in apollo we will grab the url and we will export those by using some other tools so this is apollo.io make sure to sign up or log in with your account so you can sign up with google and you will get 135 credits so you can get started so don't get confused by this Apollo dashboard if you are looking for the first time. As you can see, Apollo has more than 290 million plus leads or 90 million plus contacts in their database. And we can filter out by their email status, by their job role, by their location, by their industry and keywords and bunch of other things as well. But the main issue with Apollo is, let's say we want to scrape out 10,000, 20,000 leads at a single time. Apollo is not a viable option. So I will show you best way how you can scrape out those leads for pennies. But first of all, let us take an ideal scenario and let's say we want to find out about our prospects who are in real estate in Dubai or in UAE, which is United Arab Emirates. All right, we want to target out those job roles. Those are like managing, director, head, etc, etc. We are not going after C-level executives. C-level executives are CEOs, COOs, founders, co-founders, board members, etc. But we are going after middlemen or like marketing guys, sales guys. So first of all, we will need to figure out by demographic. So go to location. In location, we have two options. We can filter out by account location or account headquarters location, meaning which company they are working from should be based in this location. So we are going after Dubai or UAE. We can search for Dubai as well. Our demographic filter is over and we have selected these three options. Next is we need to find out about industry and specific keywords that we are going after. In our example or in our case, we are going after real estate. So go to industry and keywords and search for industry. There are a bunch of industries available as you can see if you scroll down. But I'm just taking this example of real estate. Awesome. That's all you need to do. Next thing is we need to find out by their job roles or we need to filter out by their job roles. So click on job titles, go to management level. You can include the job title here as well like CEOs, COOs, but we will not look into it. We will use this department and job function as well as management level. In job title, you can include a specific job title that you are going after. Let's say intern or unpaid intern. You can use this include job title, but we can use this management level and department and job function. It's totally okay. So we are not going after C-level executive or founders and owners. We are going after head, directors like middle manager or middle level person of real estate agencies managers seniors and we are not including entry or inter level job titles as well as not vps partners so as you can see we have a resource list of 31000 databases and the best part of apollo is as you are filtering out you will be able to see live preview and total number of prospects available as per your filter so as you can see, there are a bunch of human resources, but we are not going after HR guys. So all you need to do is click on this exclude title and you can remove the specific job roles. As we have selected this filter of head, so all of the position of head roles are also included in here. So we don't need head of recruitment. So we are excluding from our list. All right. I hope this makes sense. I'm just showing you what you can do here. Next thing is departments and job function. If you want to deep dive into your search and find out highly targeted prospects, you can use this filter. If you don't want to use this, it's completely okay. So we are going after marketing, sales, operations. And as you can see, we don't need to filter out by human resources. They will be automatically gone. And our number of prospects has decreased from 30,000 to 14,000. All right, that's all the filter that we need to apply right now. We have their name, their title, where they are working, their email, their phone number, and bunch of other things. Right now it is not available, but if you click on search setting, click on fields, you can add this field here as well, like the industry, the keywords, number of employees. Yeah, we have the LinkedIn URL, we have where they are based from, how many people are working in that company, the industry title, the keywords. Okay, 
and even if you want to exclude some specific demographic or areas you can do that so go to location exclude location as you can see our number of prospects has been decreased to 12,800 so we are only going after Dubai guys or Dubai real estate agencies or real estate middle level managers all right so we have the list here now in order to export these 12,000 leads so first of all let us go to Apollo pricing this is the pricing of Apollo. I have switched to monthly and as you can see if we want to scrape out 10,000 leads we have to pay $99 and it is not ex exactly the same. If we are finding out their mobile number it will cost us 5 credits. So it doesn't make any sense to use Apollo. We can use Apollo to filter out our like categorization because it is very good but we are not going to use or we are not going to pay Apollo to scrape our leads. So all you need to do is copy this URL. Make sure that it has people on it. All right. That's all you need to do and we have a list of 12,000 or around 13,000. Next thing you want to do after copying that Apollo URL or that filter Apollo URL, you want to paste this URL in the tool or the software that we are going to use in this class. So it will be in the first link in the description section. The software that we are using is searchleads.co. So make sure you are using that link only otherwise you want to redirect it to this form. Now all we need to do is paste our Apollo link here. So make sure that this Apollo link is same as the filter that we have applied here. So it will scrape out all of the 13,000 leads for you. Now you can fill in your name. As you can see we want to scrape out around 12 or 13,000. So let us go for 13,000. Let's say random. I am from India. Click on submit. Please check your email for payment link. Searchleads.co charges $3 per thousand leads. So let's say if you are finding out 10,000 leads or if you want to scrape out 10,000 prospects, you can do that within just $30. And at the same time, if you are using Apollo, it will cost you around more than $99 because it is not considering the fact that we are also finding mobile numbers. As they are charging 5 credits for mobile number, it doesn't make sense. And searchleads.co is not paying me anything to say this or to recommend them, but I usually use searchleads.co in order to scrape out leads. Regarding order of 13,000 leads. This is the Stripe URL and I will make the payment and I am doing this for just for you guys. I just want to show you the accuracy or the data finding capacity of searchleads.co so that you don't have to waste your money if the results are not that good. So if you like, please subscribe and give a like to this video. Awesome. Our payment is done. Just wait for 5 to 10 minutes and you will have your leads in your email. You will get a confirmation about payment, payment received from 13,000 leads. Now till we wait for leads, I want to emphasize on this important point. The emails that will be scraped out from Apollo are not totally verified and we cannot trust Apollo for that. So we will need to use another or external email verification tool so that we can make sure that our cold email campaigns are not in risk and we are not risking our entire email infrastructure. Because otherwise if you are sending emails to catch all or unknown or invalid, you will increase your bounce rate and you will decrease your email deliverability and longevity. And if you want to learn about cold email, lead generation, client acquisition, email copywriting and bunch of other things, I have a course that is fully dedicated to it and it is around 10 to 20 dollars. So it will be in the description section. So make sure to check it out. Alright guys, our data is ready. So let us open our file. You will receive an email like this. How many emails it was able to find out from 13 or 12,000 leads. We have the first name, the last name, the personal email. We won't be using personal email in our cold email campaigns. Otherwise, it will put our entire cold email campaign to risk. We will use the work email. You can use this. You can freely reach out to them. And we have the email status as well. But we cannot rely on Apollo's email status. We will need to use external email verification tool. Then we have mobile number. But as you can see, the finding rate of mobile number is so low. It is like negligible. Then we have their name, their organization, their LinkedIn URL. This is again the main thing that we are looking after. We have their title, where they are working from and bunch of other things as well. Yeah, but only necessary things we need is the LinkedIn URL, the email. Yeah, that's it. So let us filter this. Let's see how many emails it was able to find out. Awesome. So from 13,000 leads, it was able to find out half of their emails. And again, these emails are catch all as well as unknown. So we cannot, let's say, say that we have 6,000 leads. We have to check first of all these emails. So let us copy some emails. Let us go to email verification tool. This email verification tool is very cheap and it is for lifetime. So make sure to check it out. The second link in the description. Go to email verification tool. 
let's say random YouTube test put our emails here start verification go to task details all right so we are searching from 97 or 100 emails let us see the safe or the valid emails that we are able to find out from that leads awesome so from this 100 we only have like 34 emails that we can safely send without any risk so make sure that you are using email verification tool don't don't rely on apollo's email verification tool i will show you another email verification tool that i use in my agency which i love by the way again it will be in the third link in the description section so as you can see we have verification credit it's lifetime you will have 10,000 credits for it and again no one is paying me to say this but i love these tools as you can see you can start your verification real estate leads from 5,000 leads there are only 1,226 verified emails so we have to like remove all of this and only use in our cold email campaigns otherwise you will put your cold email campaign at a major risk all right so i will put all of this link in the resource section or in the description section so make sure to check it out yeah uh, that's all for this lecture yeah i don't think that it is recommended tool to be using because we are still paying 30 dollars let's say for scraping 30,000 leads all right sorry we are paying 39 dollars from scraping 13,000 leads it doesn't make sense like it was still only able to find out 6,000 leads from there and most of them are catch all and unknown so yeah I, we cannot rely on this all right so in the next video i will show you yet another tool that we use from oporo scraping and it has so much better finding rates than searchleads.co